um, how to deal with failure when you know you can do it, but didn't or can't. Yeah. So if there was a, if there was just a, a clear cut answer to that, I would probably be a billionaire, right? <laughs> I guess I can speak in terms of how I personally go about this because for me, I've failed over and over and over again. And I think we can insert any type of cliche that we want, right? In terms of like failure is just growth towards your future self or like all of that stuff, which is 100% true. I think it comes down to like the shift in mindset, right? I think the world tells us that if we fail over and over again, then we're bad and we should probably like move on. Like it's not for us. But I think if we do shift our mindset into believing that failure is those teaching moments and those teaching points and we can continuously take bits and pieces of information from failure and then better equip ourselves for that moment next time then i think we'll be better off dealing with it um but everyone's different man like everyone uh everyone goes about it different for me i think it I hate to say it because I feel like I sound like a broken record, but it does. It comes down to passion for me. Like my mindset is so evolved that I don't even look at failure as like a huge negative because I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be playing and to get to play and to have air in my lungs like i don't know i know it sounds like super dorky but um in terms of like i said in terms of dealing with it like think about shifting your mindset into this growth mindset into thinking this big picture right i think we often get hung up on um the here and now and this instant gratification right like we live in this 24-hour window and then like we don't see anything past that so then when it comes to our performance if we don't perform the way that we expected in that window then like life is over and everything's bad but if we think about our, our life big picture and not just what you're doing in that present moment, but like how you're going about the present moment to better equip yourself for the moment down the road. Then when it comes to the performance and when it comes to success or failure, we can take information from that and then use that and apply that as we progress, right? Like it's the simplistic system of, okay, what's the goal? What's the process to achieve goal? And then now when we go out there, we perform, we do what we need to do, but then we gain information for then how we can best go about our training, our process, our programs, all of these things to then reach that goal. And it's constant, you know, trial and error period. So, um, like I said, though, man, like, I don't think there's a right and a wrong way. Ah, actually, never mind. I was going to say there wasn't a right and a wrong way to approach failure, but I would say like the wrong way, especially if you're passionate about something is to just like give it up. Like that's why passionate passion should be like the foundation of it because how much easier is it to deal with failure when you're passionate about the thing that you're failing at rather than like failing at something that you're just doing because you're in that position that's tough find your passion gain your information and freaking grind Actually, shouldn't even say grind because it's not a grind if you love it. All right, I'm done with my cliches for this answer.